Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to the Creative Retreat YouTube channel. I am working with the January Faithful Digitals for the devotional called Upside Down Kingdom. And when I first saw this title, I just couldn't understand where that came from until I read the devotional. And obviously, I um, am just full of understanding right now. <laughs> God's ways are just so much different than our ways. To start off with, I am journaling in Matthew 5, uh, the Beatitudes. <laughs> the Beatitudes, uh, I don't know if you've ever checked it out, doesn't really make sense. Uh, I'm going to get to that in a minute, but first let me tell you what I'm doing with the art. Uh, I'm just using a stencil and a makeup brush, scribbling my gelatos onto a uh, palette, a textured palette, and then picking it up with these makeup oval foundation brushes and stenciling it through a stencil that I have. This one just has a similar kind of pattern to some of the patterns on the um, on the devotional and the printables. And I haven't seen the physical kit with my physical hands and eyes yet, but uh, I know that it is called um, Get Yours Today. <laughs> it released on the 4th of January. Uh, and then using whatever is left over of that gelatos just to create some kind of uh, splatters in the background as well. I do heat set that quite well, uh, just because if I do want to write over gelatos, I um, don't want to ruin my felt of pens. So I heat set it and that just makes the waxiness kind of disappear a bit and you can write over it easier. So be attitudes, like I said, does not make sense to me because, you know, when, when we think blessed or the you know poor for they will be rich you know that it just doesn't make sense in our minds but God's ways are so much higher than our ways that in his in his kingdom for you to be first you must be lost Jesus served he did not come in and demand to be um liked or respected or worshipped he came in and he served he washed feet he um you know he set he, he set the example he he showed us the way by doing it himself first i cut out the elements or these um, alpha letters from the printable with my brother scan and cut and just sticking them on with my uh, tombow glue and I, the sentence I want to kind of waterfall down using different elements is blessed are the upside down kingdom citizens for great is their one true God or one true king. And it's obviously not a verse from the Bible, but if I take the idea of blessed are there and for they will, it's it's kind of contrary and I understand now that we are in this upside down kingdom. We're in the world, but we're not of the world, which means that in this world, we need to follow our, um, our, our, our designer, our original country <laughs> um, rules. So we're, we're, we're ambassadors in a different country. We are uh, showing a different country what we do in our original country, if that makes any sense. So our original country, the way that God designed us in Genesis, uh, or as we read in Genesis, in his form, with his function, in his likeness, um, that is how we were designed, without sin, without, you know, pushing for our own ambition and, and agenda. That's how we were designed. So now we're in this world where it's dog eat dog and, you know, just tough. Everybody wants to be first and wants their own way and wants to be right and all of that stuff. And it's not the way that God does things. I do edge some of these little elements with that gelato and makeup brush just to, you know, help it blend into the background a bit more or actually not blend into the background because without it, it kind of did you know, just disappear, but now it just sort of pops off a little bit 
um, because of that edging of the sides with the gelato. Uh, you can also do that with chalk inks and uh, distress inks and all of those things. You could edge your sides, but I used the gelatos. So I probably should have kind of set out this full title beforehand so that it would have fit in better but in the end it is what it is <laughs> i am using some uh, older stamp sets towards the end here of this sentiment first sticking down my date on the onto those labels that are part of the printables i really like the, the printables um like i said before so many times it's great that we have these faithful digitals here in south africa because obviously with um countries and borders being closed etc etc it's been it's been a mission to get the physical kit <laughs> so I am digging through and using up my stash from previous months um, and last year when I could still get the kits we got a lot of alpha stamps or alpha stickers in our sets and I'm loving being able to use those um, up to finish them <laughs> and I think Yes, so I'm going to be using the word great from that stamp set. And first I choose this mermaid um, ink and then realize that it's not quite the one I want. So I do switch over to the planetarium um, blue ink. No, it's not the planetarium blue. It's the bonsai green. Great apologies. I'm and I'm letting that, that get good and dry, um, you know, just not smearing it because I did put two different inks on top of one another. Um, and like I said, finishing up my alpha stickers. I love using alpha stickers. I cannot get enough of alphabet stickers. So that's why I decided to get some vinyl and cut my own <laughs> because I love alphabet stickers. It just makes a title easy, especially if you're a little bit unimpressed with your handwriting <laughs> okay so really focusing on the word and like I said with with the Beatitudes and especially how it goes over into um, the Lord's Prayer and us asking him then to give us our daily bread um, help us to focus on one day at a time like I said all of that is contrary to how the world thinks the world thinks you know, we need to plan in advance. We need to have everything ready. We're living for the tomorrow, living for the end. Instead of taking each day and making that day about God and him sorting out all of the rest. Even if you read Matthew 6 verse 33 where it says, put the kingdom of God first and all these things will be added. Our, our natural sentiment is not that. Our natural strive to get somewhere is not you know letting God kind of take care of the rest um, and so this was a great uh, conviction to me I was not condemned but I was convicted of the fact that I so easily try to take over and do things my way instead of letting God be God in my life I am faffing a bit because that little piece of yellow in the center of that card is making me uncomfortable <laughs> because it's blank and I do want to kind of write my prayer um, but I don't want to take away from the title which is why I said I should have kind of you know set it out before I stuck it down but that's okay. So asking God to make me a kingdom citizen to uh, belong to his kingdom and just be an ambassador here on earth um, of the way that he does things great is our one true king and outlining my beatitudes as a whole just to bring me back to understanding that his ways are higher than and sometimes out of my understanding <laughs> and that we need to do it his way so I did punch out a tab from the pattern paper and using that as a, a tab, putting two on top of one another just so that they're strong enough and calling that a page. Thank you so much for joining me. Do check out the other girls and their process videos um, and the blog posts and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.